Welcome everybody to the second ever uh, pia piano course from Panda. This is actually the, the actual name of this event is the Panda Piano Corner and it's the second of so many events that we've had so far that has, have involved uh, Louis Avendano um, and today is no exception. So. Uh, a big welcome and thank you for and to everybody who is here today. Uh, thank you for, for for signing up to this event and participating in what I believe will be an entertaining and inf informative event. Um, so uh, we have a lot lined up today. Um, the actual event is uh i guess um a, 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 a melding together of uh, two different events the previous one at, and the i guess the winners of the prize draw who are today remember last time we had this prize uh, this wonderful prize draw and we have forgive me if i uh, uh mispronounce your name but i believe your name is yana pen from the philippines um, and Natasha Chandrawati from Indonesia. So we have two different ends of Southeast Asia. So today it's very, very, very much um, uh, uh, local. This this uh, local local area Southeast Asian uh, music making, um, specifically to do with piano uh, piano performance and piano. Yeah. Um, so, so I can welcome you both. There will, of course, be um, time for questions and answers, as ever, because we all have those kind of uh, questions, particularly when we're doing something like a masterclass, which is what this session is today, in effect. So, if you have questions about what has uh, what, what what has happened or uh, what. Uh, Mr. Louis is doing, or uh, what, uh, what our friends are uh, are doing in their masterclass. Please reserve those questions for the the end part of the session. Uh, for sure, there there will be a lot of things that we want to ask. I, for one, as a pianist as well, also have burning questions, and I can't wait to see uh, what is going to happen. I've already had a little sneak peek from both of the, uh, the, the, the prize winners from last time. And honestly, I'm um, blown away by, by their skill and, their, their, and their, their ability. And we're so pleased to have both of these people with us today um, on, the, uh, on the Panda Piano Corner. This is gonna be wonderful. We're gonna have a, a, a lovely time. Um, uh, without further ado, let me introduce our, our expert, our Spanish expert, um, Luis, Mr. Louis uh, from last time, Louis Avandano. Um, he was born in Barcelona. He's a Spanish pianist and a professor, and he's worked with a number of establishments um, globally, um, including working as a pianist with it, with uh, Rosalind Turek, Dmitry Basrikov, Jörg Demus, Jörg Sandor, amongst others. Uh, he successfully worked with many international opera singers and, and is a chamber musician around the world um, and is now sharing and contributing um, in a more global way uh, amongst the, the uh, international piano community, pianist company. Uh, our community. So um, we uh, we're so proud and very grateful to invite him back again for our second for our second journey into pianism. Uh, so without further ado, I'm not quite sure how to do this, but what I would like to say is that um, Yana Yana Pena from the Philippines will be our first candidate for the. Um, for the for the masterclass, and she will be performing the Prelude and Fugue Number no. Six in D minor from the first book 
by Johann Sebastian Bach. It's, it's a great set of uh, great set of preludes and fugues, and um, we've got a really accomplished musician to uh, to to listen to here. So, without further ado, I, I suggest uh, if you're uh, Jana, are you are you ready? Are you, are you uh, camera on and ready to go? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, so, without further ado, uh, let's let's go ahead with your with your performance. And Mr. Mr. Louis, if you're ready as well for uh, for for interaction and um, uh, feedback when that time arises, then we then we can begin. Uh, please uh, be be my guest, Jana. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, Mr. Louis, uh, do you are you are you with us? Do we have uh, do we have contact? Uh, do you, can you listen me? No. Yes, now we can. Thank you. Little complicated. <laughs> well, I think very, very, very good. You yeah? know, uh, we can the prelude. Uh, yeah, very, very good. Uh, the wh what about the, the tempo of the fugue? Uh, okay, I think you you want to make a contrast like the prelude is is quick and then the few like more more slow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because uh, I, I think at the end I, I would suggest that the the few also shouldn't shouldn't be so slow okay maybe uh, could be a more i mean this is very good for practicing when you practice is very very good to to play very slow and feel everything every note but then i would say okay the the prelude is very good it's it's like quick so the few is not so quick but it like still have a relationship with the prelude, mm -hmm. and it's not just about the tempo. I mean, at, at, the, at the end, because the fugue is not so long, but um, when you are in the middle or after many bars, this tempo probably you just feel something uh, heavy or maybe uh, makes too much uh, for the people. Maybe, okay, you can enjoy anyway. <laughs> But when we listen, probably it's more more difficult to follow. I see. Yes. I can, I listen very far. Maybe uh, I'm not listening too much. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah. Okay. So, do you agree what I say? Uh, I understand. Yeah, I, I can. I can try to make it. A little faster, yes. Should I try? Well, I mean, the, the important thing is not well, the tempo, but it means the how how we feel the the phrases and the theme and okay. just uh, sometimes when we mm, yeah we just try to to feel too much with the music any any bar any phrase but then we we can we can lose kind of uh, like the direction of the all the piece until the end we need the music go on okay uh, everything okay everything is important but we always looking for the next next one yeah next uh, but yeah also the okay would you uh, you the, the you begin non legato. This is your idea, yeah. Uh, what is your idea? Your idea is non legato. Oh, I try legato in the fugue, so it's contrast to the prelude is non legato, but the fugue I make it legato. No, but I mean you you begin like separate, yeah. So oh, legato. this is legato. Yes. Because I didn't, I didn't listen very well. <laughs> oh, yeah, the connection. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe. Okay. If, if you want, if this is the idea, maybe you can feel even more legato. I mean, I don't know. I, I just when I when I listen, uh, it means I still didn't follow very well. So okay. If you want to do legato, it means you have to believe. You have to do really. Feel the legato. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Yeah, okay. This way. Okay, now now yeah, the tempo is good. But maybe if you realize like uh, many times in the middle of the phrase or at the end you do like kind of rubato or you are exaggerating something. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? Yes. And then yeah, sometimes it can be good, but if you do all the time or if you do too much, well, I think you should practice also without any robot, just for practicing. I mean, very, very exactly, mm -hmm. uh, because this is the base. Then, then you will see if you want to do something. But I think it's sometimes it's dangerous when you just follow your feeling. Okay. Yes. Because. Uh, Okay, one time is okay, but three times, even even two times, can be too much for, for the when we listen. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you do, it must be really you, you want to feel like that. Uh, okay, look, when you play well, sometimes you don't have to exaggerate some things because you already do. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes this is funny, you know, because. One thing is what you feel when you play, because you are playing yourself. But the other thing is what the, the people we are listening. Sometimes different. It's different feeling. Right? Mm -hmm. So sometimes, okay, of course, you, you. It's important you feel what you want to feel. But sometimes we we should play different, like we feel, because the audience must feel better. And then you. You will feel, oh, but this is not my feeling. Uh, I want to do something different, but it doesn't matter because uh, sometimes don't worry. I mean, it's uh, we have to do what the people can follow better. And you do already, you don't have to do too much because when you play well, you already do. Okay, okay. Yeah, your feeling. So, okay, can you try the, the beginning? More okay. Don't don't try to to do any rubato or any to exaggerate the, your feeling. Just like like more mechanical maybe. Okay. Oh, okay. Look, I think much better. I don't know if you feel something different, but it sounds much better the music yeah, like the this. Yeah, music flows more. Well, uh, so, some ideas like for practicing. So, so sometimes for practicing, I I can suggest to do something different. For example, can I ask you? Okay, you can begin with a slow tempo, and then. You are going to play like like a small accelerando, but very slowly, very slowly. But it means every bar or every two bars, you try a little, little more. I mean, we, we it's not really accelerando, but I, I ask you to to go faster, uh, but slowly. I mean, don't be stressed. Just beginning slowly, and instead of uh, trying to keep the tempo. Don't worry. I mean, just just go on, like maybe a little, little going on, little faster. You try. Okay. Or 
tomorrow, more, more. Okay, okay. So you you really you you were thinking you you were uh, doing more tempo. Yes. For me, no. For me, I just listen good tempo. <laughs> well, it means sometimes. Uh, for example, if you do like this, maybe it's like you you try to feel more the music is going on. Yeah. It means if you, okay, it, for example, maybe you, when you try to keep the tempo, you don't realize, but you are going like retardando. Okay, yes. Uh, well, I, I think in, in Bach music, this maybe can be difficult. Like, of course, the, the music is so great and you want to do many things because Every bar, every, every note. I mean, sometimes you, you can have some feel, some new feeling, yeah, and uh, so so many things, so many things at the same time, yeah. But at the end, okay, I think at the end you can you can find many things, but you have to begin more simple, like okay, just let's try what what we watch in the music or what the voices do. And probably you will do more than you think. I mean, still, okay. it's enough for the moment. Okay. Well, do, do you do you have any idea? For example, it's it, something for you difficult for practice or no problem for for learning uh, or any. Any problem or anything you 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 can think is we should say for how to practice better or how to memorize or do you have any problem? Maybe no, not in technique, just really in interpretation of the especially the few. Yeah, how to interpret. Sorry, sorry, I, I cannot, I cannot listen. Sorry. Um, not really problems with technique. Really, my question is more in the interpretation of the piece, especially the fugue, how to interpret the fugue? Well, I think you have your ideas. Now, for example, the, 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 the fugue, even the prelude, but the fugue, okay, you, you could try, I don't know how, to, how you practice, but for example, you could try like four different parts. I mean, uh, just for example, I, I just look in, I, I don't know if you have numbers, yes. for example, so, from the first bar to the bar 12, more or less, can be one, one part. Mm -hmm. Well, even one part, you can, you can divide in two or three. <laughs> but I mean, okay, when you get one part, like, like eight bars or 12 bars, uh, you can try how to, how to build that, how mm -hmm. to Organize your feeling. Okay, the music is going on, is going up, or is going down, or is changing color, changing harmony. Or well, in the fugue, uh, this is long to speak, but I mean, we, we have this theme, like it's repeating all the time, and then he do back. Yeah, the, the like. Uh... So this is, and um, this is funny how at the end he uses more really the the theme going back than the 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 beginning uh but and for example yeah every time is taking this idea is changing the key or changing the notes changing the harmony so it's really very rich yeah at the beginning okay we just hear the d minor the or the a yeah, like the tonic, the dominant. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, uh, well, he, he uses really almost all the all the scales. Uh, so it means okay when when you when you have uh, even 
even a few bars. I mean, if you take a phrase or uh, you you can try to to build better, yeah. How something beginning and something end, or something just stop, waiting for next idea. Okay, I mean, if when when you, this is not a very long piece, yeah. In the long pieces are more complicated. But if you, if every bar or every two bars or every four bars or every twelve bars, I mean, if you practice how how to go on with the music. Then it's very easy to put all together from the beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's it's very difficult to to play all the piece and try to to feel the interpretation because you don't have time to to feel. Yeah. So I I I, I could say uh, you can practice few bars or in that case can be twelve bars for example, and then repeating many times like how how you could try. Maybe something different, or or no, or or how how you feel with the changes, or the harmony, or the theme, and then each part. Okay, you you just focus in one part to to build better, and then you just well, you will see if it is going on all the parts together, or then you want to change something. For example, the the prelude. The prelude is okay. Yeah, very good. Do you think? Uh, any, any, uh, I, I think it's very good, your idea. So you, you are thinking uh, a lot, yeah, with the prelude. What are you thinking when you play the prelude? Uh, mostly I think of the direction of the bass, especially because the bass has a, like a line that I follow. And sometimes there's harmonic changes. I think the, for me, it's easier to interpret the prelude, but the fugue is a little harder for me. Well, this music is very rich. I mean, if you want to analyze, that you never end. <laughs> so it means you have chord, you have. Okay, so each chord is different. I mean, you could say every every chord, every harmony, you could feel something new. Even it's. Is repeating, repeating two times, yeah. Uh, it means even when when you play the first time, second time could be different also. It's not like repeating mm -hmm. first time, second time. So okay, or even for practice, no, for practice for for your memory, it's like. Yeah, even one bar you have for one month already work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. And then, well, we begin like this. We, we begin with one chord. We begin with one bar. Then you can, you can like, like I said, with a few, you can say, how, how about two bars, four bars, 12 bars? Uh, yeah, because the, even the the prelude also you can you can stop somewhere like the the music is changing or uh, beginning uh, something new. So it means if you can practice, I think your interpretation, your feeling with 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 these parts, just with few bars and repeating and repeating. I mean, just for fine. Mm -hmm. This is why why you could you could find something else uh, if you like. But that's also what I said. Uh, you don't have to do too much. I mean, if, if you want to do too much, for you, it's OK. At home, for your practicing, you can do everything. But then maybe you have to be careful, because when you play for the audience, it will be too much for them. I mean, sometimes, uh, yeah, you should do not too much, just because you, already, you, you are doing already. I mean, it's not you have to show more. Understand, yes. But in a way, it's good. I mean, when, when, when we practice, we can exaggerate many things. Or when, when you play for you, you can really exaggerate. Because this is the way to memorize, to, to learn the, the music. And then, I mean, this is still when, when you play normally, but you still get the feeling, you know. Uh, but it's good to exaggerate. I mean, because the, the, when the people is just 
just do very normal and never try to do more or like you do more robot or more anything stop breathing uh, people never find never find the way because it's just like 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 a machine i see but i i don't know if we, we what else we can do maybe one moment oh i i think we do have just 30 minutes right uh eddie okay so um Okay, can you play the, the prelude? But now, don't try to do too much. I mean, uh, don't play much forte. I mean, you play more piano and just not 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 too, too quick. Just like yeah, very very simple. I think it's very good. I mean, uh, you should practice different ways. It is what I, I, I try to say. I mean, uh, and then, uh, you know, because, okay, people normally used to, to say, well, how, how we should play this music? And we, we expect to say, okay, this music, you have to play like this, okay. But at the end, if you try to practice in different ways, I think at the end it's better because you get more. I mean, at the end when you sh when you sh when you choose what you want to do, you will choose really good. I mean, you will be more more sure. Mm -hmm. But I mean, even if, when when you practice differently or different way, it helps you to play the right way. I mean, everything is same. Yeah. For example, can you try the beginning? And no, don't move your hand because okay, I, I know I like when you move your left hand. Can you okay? It's like your your hand. Uh, okay, look. Uh, one moment. Okay, just play your hand like down. So don't don't move your. Just put your hand down. Don't move. Don't move mouth. Uh, just move your fingers a little. But just your fingers. Not, don't. Uh, very, very, very soft. I mean, just don't move anything. Okay, but okay, too much, too fort. I mean, pianissimo, pianissimo. All, all the, the right hand, piano. I mean, it means your fingers must move the minimal. I mean, don't, don't move too much your fingers.
Yeah, I think it's good. It's a good idea. For example, maybe later you like to play different, but for me, this will be the beginning. I mean, you could begin like this, and maybe you will discover sometimes you don't have to do too much. <laughs> yes. Because also, well, this is interesting, you know, Bach music, yeah, they say Bach is still new, the, the first piano forte, uh, but of course, in the Bach's time, they didn't use the piano, really. So they used the other instruments, yeah, like half score or... So, yeah, it's when when we play in the piano, uh, we can try many, many ways to play because it's not really when, when we play romantic music or classical music, you, you can feel more, it must do like, must sound like the piano. We need the piano, yeah, uh, even technically. Or, uh, so in the Baroque music, it's, it's interesting because you can try different ways to play. And uh, yeah, at that time, okay, look, the these strong things with our fingers and with our arms, this is more romantic. <laughs> Uh, in the, at the time, they didn't they didn't use too much. Like they sometimes they use very well the fingers, but mm -hmm. the fingers don't move too much really. I mean, your hand no, cannot move too much. So well, this is because sometimes when we do uh, okay, we just practice like like moving everything from the beginning. Your hands, like you play uh, Chopin or Liszt, maybe you will lose something from from the base, you know? Ah, I see. But it's very good. I think uh, you, you're very clever. I mean, even if, if without practicing in five minutes, you can play everything much better. <laughs> Thank you for your insights, Mr. Luis. Okay. So what, what is now? Is the time now? Oh, wonderful. No, uh, this is perfect, uh, Louis. This is, this is wonderful. Uh, thank you, Jana, for your beautiful performance. And thank, thank you, you also, so Louis, for your wonderful uh, insight um, and in interpretation of uh, this very complex music. Yeah, this, this music has been puzzling us all for years, um, for, for, for a number of years. So, uh, and it will continue to go on. Um, before I continue, before we continue uh, this, uh, this session, I would just like to remind and thank our sponsors, um, particularly those at Staccato, the Staccato magazine, Majala Staccato, for their support and sponsorship of this event, uh, without whom we could not uh, make this happen. So thank you very much to uh, Staccato for, for helping uh, Panda Piano Cross out with this, this uh, very wonderful and um, generous sponsorship. And to those donors, those people who have donated uh, to help music happen in this way, in, uh, in this wonderful international, um, uh, I guess, online, online way. So thank you very much for those of you who have donated and been generous with, with, your, with your contributions to help um, events like these happen. Yeah? And there are links for those of you who are feeling like you want more of this and you would like to, to help uh, get involved in that um, financially on the, uh, the, the Panda website, details of which we will present later on as the as the webinar continues uh, so thank you uh, for those sponsors those those uh, uh, donators we really do appreciate that uh, from the bottom of our hearts um, without further ado um, please if you don't mind uh, closer to home uh, certainly for me and Eddie um, can I call Natasha Natasha Ch Chandrawati our bird of paradise almost Hello, Natasha. How are you doing? I'm good. Great. 
Oh, wonderful, wonderful. We can't wait for this. Um, I'm especially looking forward to this uh, on, a, on a secret level because I love this uh, etude um, because it fits into all those themes of weather and uh, uh, perhaps romantic themes that, that connect to music of the Baroque um, that there the were equally uh, like Mendelssohn, Chopin, when they were playing the music of Bach, indeed the uh, the well tempered clavier when they were doing so. And they gave them these wonderful dramatic titles and, and uh, this uh, Chopin Etude, uh, Opus 25, number 11, is no exception from, from that at all. The wind to wind uh, Etude indeed. So uh, uh, for those of you who are really into that romantic theme, that thread, please do in, enjoy this because it's, it's all part of that. So if you don't mind, um, uh, if, if I can call uh, Mr. Lewis, Mr. Louis again, once again, and Natasha, when you are ready um, to, to uh, perform this wonderful music, I simply can't wait. Uh, this is going to be fabulous, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think you you will not have problem because your fingers are okay. <laughs> but uh, where do you think this is difficult? This is difficult to practice. Um, what do you feel? Um, it was actually okay when I practiced. Uh, I was just a little nervous. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think because normally Chopin uh, etudes, uh, we used to say, well, these are difficult, difficult pieces. But yeah, of course, they, they are difficult, but shouldn't be so difficult. I think we, we make more difficult. <laughs> and this is why, yeah, sometimes we should try to practice better or do some things different. Uh, where, where, when, especially with these pieces, because yeah, they look difficult, and our fingers they have to work a lot. But this is why I say before, many times we and then we do too much. We 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 want to practice too much. Your fingers, we 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 get a lot of tension, you know. Uh, and then if if we play like that, normally. Uh, in the middle of the piece, you, you should stop because you are not able to arrive to the end. Okay, you can arrive to the end, but very, uh, I mean, really very, very uh, not, not good. Yeah. Um, so, uh, how, how did you practice? For example, How, how do you think you should practice your fingers when you do? Well, what is your idea? I practice with the slower tempo, and then I move to the moderate tempo, and then uh, the faster tempo. So, for example, okay, can you can you practice slowly? How how, how can you do? Slowly, slowly, slowly. I mean, uh, we have problem with the sound. I think <laughs> we lose we lose the sound. <laughs> Can you adjust a little bit closer to you? Oh. Oh. And Louis, could you like turn on your back camera? Switch off. They okay, switch to your back camera. Oh, uh, yeah, a letter. I mean, you okay. mean? I mean, letter. Yes, showing the finger. Okay, then the, what is the? Do you have the slide of the the first page? Uh, okay, which which fingers? Which fingers you use? Which fingers you use at the beginning? Uh, five. Two, four, one, and then three, two. I mean, five, four, then three. three. Yeah. Is this your finger? Like five, four, three? It is. Okay, this is interesting. Okay, no, no, normally we you can not put. Can you can you put the slide? Okay, one 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 idea we were used to like okay like five no four three so we 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 th we practice like three three I mean six notes yeah uh, by three one two three. If you look 
below there is small small fingering. Do you see the small fingering below? Yeah. Yeah, they say this is Chopin's fingering. Maybe I I I could believe. So if you see it's five, four, four, three. It means we he he do like like by two, yeah, like one four 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 notes. Then four notes and four. This you can find later, or no, no, no problem. You see, well, this is uh, it reminds me like we speak last time. I think in music we always can find a lot of things related to counting three and counting two. So okay, if I do like this, okay, one one fingering, and then three more. Well, also what the music, it seems, the music is like this, by three, yeah? Yeah, this is true. But it's interesting to feel by two, like... So for practice, of course, for practice, we should practice different ways. But it's interesting that this fingering, if, I, I think it's from Chopin. Then it's interesting. So, because it depends on your fingering, of course. Some fingering will be more difficult to practice, practice well, I mean. <laughs> uh, because it's very important, it depends on your fingers, how how to find your position. Okay, this is the same, but I mean, the important is, for example, if I do like this, if I want to practice well, I should find this position, yeah? Then, okay, Chopin could do different. Oh. Doesn't matter the order of the notes. The important is your fingers know how to move. So we should practice better every finger. If every finger, like even repeating. I think this is the key, you know? Okay, well, when we play together, we don't have time to realize how we move our fingers. Then probably we 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 try to we do too much too much. Uh, uh, no, I mean, and then I suggest okay, this is a good way to practice. Your hand just go down. Even you can put here in the piano. <laughs> so just move your fingers like this, and then this is how to rea you realize how how. This is the way, the way to move your fingers in the beginning. So don't don't move your don't use your hand. Okay, can can you try to play with your ma with your hand down? And but relax, relax. Don't don't push. Just um, articulation from from here. Can you try? Well, I cannot listen, but I can imagine. <laughs> so, yeah, it's difficult. To, I cannot listen. I think there's something with the sound. Natasha, can you please uh, turn on matter. original sounds? How, how, how can you adjust it? Is it possible to adjust? To... Uh, well, but it doesn't matter. It's not important. I mean, okay. Uh, okay. What I try to say, for example, normally we should normally we should practice better. I, I think everybody can feel like they are practicing uh, really a lot, but uh, it depends of your practicing. If 
depends how, how you use your fingers, will be more difficult, will be more too hard. You know, we, we should relax our hand, we should relax our fingers, and don't try to play all. Uh, one bar sometimes is enough for one week, <laughs> Uh, and now it's repeating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, just play. No, can you play piano, piano? Uh, just like. Don't, don't, don't do too much. Uh. Yeah. But if, if you if you have time, I, I will tell you, you can try this, this Chopin fingering. You, you could change your, I mean like, okay, five, four, and now four, three. Yeah, yeah four, three. Yeah. Do you see the difference? I, I think it's different feeling. Yeah. So well, I mean, this this you can find in internet. I mean, this this Chopin fingering is is easy to find, or we can we can uh, send anyway. I mean, I think this would also, for example, the right hand, the left hand. Which which finger you use for the for when you do? Which is your fingering? Uh, one, three, and five. Sorry. One, three, and five. Yeah, I used to do the same, yeah. But can you see the Chopin fingering? Can you look? Yeah. What What he say? Two, four, and five. No, 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 this is not Chopin. This is somebody. One, two, three. One, two, three. See the three? With the three. One, two, three. You see? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this is an interesting idea also. <laughs> Well, I used to play with the, with the five because, and then I, if I should play now, I could I couldn't change. But it make, makes we think also. If this is Chopin, so, and then you you realize it's it's good also. It's interesting for practice. Maybe at the end you will choose this one. Maybe it's more more. Uh, more expressive also because the, the funny thing about this study okay you you will be crazy with the right hand but at the end is the left hand we we should play <laughs> the right hand is just okay like uh, well this, this chromatic scale or something but okay this is why okay we, we should practice very well the right hand we should play just very easy if not the right hand will be the really. Uh, we just we just listen the right hand. <laughs> it's too much, you know. The right hand is not really the melody, or so. And then we must find the find the balance. But this is also about practicing. Um, okay, and the other thing, normally the Chopin studies, it's only two or three things we have to practice well. So, okay, in that case, we have this. Okay, all this, all this. Uh, uh. Then, okay, we, we, every time we change our position, or it depends on your fingering, but 
Okay. So it means at the beginning, we cannot, we, when we play all, we are changing position all the time. This is very difficult to memorize. So we should practice one by one. I mean, oh, now we, okay, this is different. So we should really practice one by one because our hand, every time you change the position, it's very difficult to remember. I mean, the mem for your memory, of course, we always, we have a very big memory, even if we don't do well, our memory is still working. But this is not the memory we need. We need more memory. I mean, we need each position or each finger really memorized very well. This is why sometimes I think we, we try to do too many things together and we don't get really uh, well. Okay, and then the other thing is, what is the other thing in this study we have to practice? So how to how to change, how to put the, no? This is the only thing we have to practice. How, how do you do? How do you do this? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think this is, there are different ways to do this. But for me, what, the first, the first thing I would practice is like turning the, your hand. Uh, can you can you try? Okay, this is very exaggerated, but can you try? Do, okay, can you try to put your hand like this? Yeah. Okay. So this. It looks like quite crazy, but I think it's not. It's, it's really, <laughs> it's quite natural. So it means. Okay, we should, we should practice. I should practice like this at the beginning. Can you try? I think this is very good. And even, okay, uh, at the end you can do, don't, you don't have to do much. I mean, you can be quite natural. I mean, just move, okay. You, sometimes this finger is difficult because we are, we are not used to move well. We move, but not well, because this is the, the big one, it's very easy. He, he can do everything, but he, he don't do properly. <laughs> and then, okay, you can play, but then we will have problems. So it means if your if you, if we practice better this finger, this is very important because this finger, normally we don't move very well. So from, okay, this finger, you know, these fingers, we move from, okay, like what? From here, yeah. Okay, wait. Maybe okay. You you can see here. Can you can you see me here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So these fingers we move from here, yeah. From here, from here, from here. This finger, we move from here, not from here. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Yeah. So this is why sometimes we, we, we use too much this. It's saying like we use too much this, but we, we, we should use better this art, about articulation. And from the beginning, from the beginning, because from the beginning, we need the natural way to move our fingers and relax, not, not push. Okay, maybe later you want to push, but so this is for practicing. I think it's important. Uh, if you can practice better, uh, will be easier, like I say, uh, because Chopin study, okay, no, normally the 
the students and the pianists they found difficult and well I I wouldn't say it's easy but normally we I think we don't practice very well and then it's more difficult it should be more easy so at the end you have to play this this study this tube a tweet more easy I mean it's not really so we must practice first yeah uh, so even if you don't have time to practice well all all the piece but if you practice even a few bars very well at the end because everything is similar I mean you're, you're, I mean the important thing is your fingers and your hand find the way to move and the, the way to put your hand in position, then, then you will be able to play many things like this. I don't know if it's clear what I say. Uh, hello? Yeah. So it means, you know, like, We, when we after after practice well, we we nah, we should play like we, very easy. I mean, it's like our fingers; it's they, they don't have to do much. Um, okay, we we don't have time to move much our hand or our fingers, so it must be very very easy. Even if if you don't if you look, it's like you don't move your fingers. I mean, <laughs> uh, so well, maybe difficult to speak like um, these online things. <laughs> we we have to be used. <laughs> I understand. And then, okay, can you try? Okay, don't. Just slowly, slowly with, uh, but we need the left hand. We, uh, we really, the important thing is the left hand. So the right hand is, like I say, if you play, you don't need to do too much because you already do. Anything uh, you can play, no, no, like piano or just don't move your hand too much. And now, because the important thing is our left hand, yeah? Okay, can you do from the beginning? Just the beginning. From here? Yeah, you can do. Okay, now you can do all from the beginning, from the oh. beginning, beginning, beginning. Very okay, Okay, I, I listen more the right hand. I don't know the sound, but okay, play piano, play piano and forte the left hand. <laughs> We are beginning to, I think we are going, we're listening better now. Uh, because also uh, sometimes about playing forte or playing piano, what happened? It, this uh, here very high. So this is very easy to to listen. I mean, it's, it's too brilliant, you know, because very high. So sometimes if we really play forte will be too much. And... And then, okay, if for contrast, even if he play forte here, sometimes because this is low, sometimes we, we need more. We need, uh, 
So probably we have to exaggerate. We have to exaggerate more piano the right and more forte the left. Yeah. Can you try again? Sí. Yeah, this is same. Okay, if we if we don't care, I mean we don't take care. Then we just listen this. <laughs> so even we should. Okay, first we should practice. If I, I say for playing for playing this better, we should practice better. But then, okay, what we need is this. Uh, Well, I think maybe a little exaggerating, but yeah, it's the same. It's the same. Can, can you can you play? Can you try to play piano and then? Uh, we must exaggerate here, uh, left hand, probably. I think it sounds much better, yeah? It means, okay, let's, we, we say also with the bar. Uh, well, in, in this, in this uh, Chopin etudes, it's very, it's very important how to practice. But then uh, sometimes we try to do too much. Uh, you already do. If you, if you do well, you don't have to do too much because already, especially with, with your right hand here, yeah? And then, then you can discover there is a lot to do with the right, with the left. Well, this is the speciality of Chopin. Yeah, Chopin, one of the first composers, he tried to to do a lot with with the left hand. Yeah, and then even what I say before for practicing, we have to exaggerate. Uh, no, don't worry. I mean, when you, we exaggerate, we find a way. Then you will see what is your choice. But yeah, because our fingers need to memorize very well the position and how to move. I mean, okay, when you have chords, this is also another thing for the piano, yeah? When you have... Uh, okay, many times we when we play two notes or chord, yeah, we play with our fingers, but we play with our hand. Too much. Okay, we should. Okay, you know, even the chord or the octaves, you know, it depends how how your fingers also move. Then your octave will be better. Yeah, yeah. This is why I say if if we if you do, for example. This will be too much. I mean, you are you are making uh, too much tension in your hand and in your fingers. Uh, this this is important idea. I mean, it's I don't know. It's clear what I say about the chords or about the octaves or when when you play two notes, you know. Sometimes when we play a chord. We forget this is three three fingers have to move. When we play like this, we just play with the hand. But the I mean, even if we play with the hand, the fingers must use little little articulation. Uh, you understand? Yeah, I do. But then it means it means. We have to practice. We have to practice our fingers. Mm. 
If we practice like this, we will never get how, how to move. Then, when your fingers move, okay, you can play together with your hand, but your fingers already active, you know? But not, I mean, normally when I say active, it's not pushing. I mean, it's, it's really relaxed. I mean, normally, sometimes we do too much. <laughs> All your fingers, your hand. So this is not good. Huh? Well, I mean, okay, any question, for example, because this is a lot of places in this in this piece, you can get problem. I mean, any, any anything you, you feel is difficult for learning, for practice, or you don't find a way? Um, maybe like uh, in the 61 and the 62 bar, the 61st bar. Well, I don't have the number here, but... Uh... Um, the, this part. <laughs> Yeah, but look, after all, this is very easy. This, <laughs> I mean, uh, this is a, the last the last page. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is. Um, I don't know this. Uh, there is the slide also. We, we can get the slides. Yeah. Um, it, it's a little hard I mean, to play the uh, six seconds. Okay, we, we should we should look the fingering first. Uh, which which fingers you want to use? Mm. Um, I'm using uh, the fifth and the fourth finger. Five four, yeah. And then uh, oh. four three. No, because I, I, I don't remember if there is Chopin fingering here. I, I I wanted to know if there is any any fingering in the score. Which which bar is it? Sorry, Natasha. Uh, Okay, this is the third, the, the third from the from the end, the, the third page from the end. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. This this one, the this one. Yeah, yeah. Can you yeah 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 I think you can see the fingering. You see the fingering here? Yeah, it's yeah, you're right. I think it's five, five, four, four, three, four, three, I think. You see, five, four, I think, yeah? Four, three, four, three, yeah? And then five, four. Well, we should guess later. <laughs> but of course, I mean, the, the first, we must, we must look our fingering and because and then find the position. If you put five, four, three, this is one thing. But if you do five, four, and then four, three, this is little change. Well, not, not really. Here, yeah. Okay, look. Uh, wait a moment. I can show you again. Can you can you show my hand? Yeah. If I do, okay. I could I could do like this. Oh, I and then, and not not the three, the four, but. It's the same position. I mean, this go together, yeah. Now we change. So this is the change. So we must practice this position very well. Uh, 
sometimes sometimes here four yeah so you know the four we must practice here and we must practice here but the position is the same So I would say we have to practice like this. Yeah. Oh. It depends on your finger, but I think this is good. But then this is okay. If we practice all together, this is not good. I mean because it's different position. We, okay, just we, then, okay, next time you, you, you can practice other position. You understand? This is why we have to do, okay, when, when we practice, this is not practicing, this is just playing. Yeah, I mean, like this, we cannot learn more. <laughs> this is for play, but if we want to learn, we need every, every group, Every position, every finger, we have to practice for a long time until we get and we memorize. Yeah? Can you follow more or less? <laughs> because the same with the left hand, yeah? Can you? Uh, hello, hello. Can you? You listen to me? Yeah, yeah, I can. What about the left hand? Which is your your fingering for? Which fingers you use here? It's five and three. <laughs> Yeah, probably is better. I mean, I could use okay. okay if, but if I do, so I I should I should practice this position. Okay, now we check. This is now next one. Same, yeah. Same. You repeat. You repeat all, all the fingerings, yeah. Five. It's the same. You repeating the same fingering. Hello. So five, two, three, one. All the time. Can you try all? There? Yeah, but this is what I say, you know? Okay. Every group, every position is different. You cannot practice all together. You have to practice one by one because every position is different. So if if we if you practice all together, your memory will be confused. You understand? Because the same fingers, but different way to put, I mean, your your hand is changing a little. I mean, it's not really the same because you, you have a black key, white keys. Well, of course, you can practice anyway, but I think if if you look more carefully, every everyone, everything, I think your memory will be better. I mean, for how, I mean, you will remember then. Okay, then is one. Why, why, why you can play all together? Because you know very well each, each one. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes we depending, for example, yeah, we depending one, one group of notes or one bar we play because we know from the the one before or the one later. I mean, we don't learn by themselves. We, we you know what I mean. Sometimes we learn.
two things because after one thing you learn and the next one but you you i mean it's you depending of the what what did you do before but then you don't really practice like how, how will be by by itself yeah because of, i mean the same notes you know the same the same notes you have here three one it's the same notes you have here five two so i mean the notes are the same but the the fingers are different and your position is different so this looks very simple but for our brain for our memory is not so simple i mean we need we need, we need time to mm, realize these things the, the thing is okay we are very clever also i mean and then we or, or we get the things very quick and then we say oh i know i know i understand very quick I, of course we understand there is a change <laughs> but our memory our brain doesn't learn not not yet i mean we we should we should do something for learning. Uh, uh, you understand? You. Well, okay, I think uh, maybe we don't have much time. Oh. So it means all this, okay. This is also, okay, if we try to play with both hands, this is very difficult to practice. I mean, how, how we can play better both hands if each hand practice a lot before and you should play really very easy very easy if each hand is very good then will be more easy to practice both hands but sometimes we we try to practice both hands a lot and still each hand is not really well practiced <laughs> you know well it means this this Chopin, it's it's funny. I mean, I mean, as I say, it's not easy, but I think we 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 make them too complicated. So it means Chopin, Chopin study. If we if we don't get the piece or our our piece is not good it means our practicing is not good. This is clear. <laughs> so if we practice well, we will get the peace anyway. I don't know how, but we will play. So normally, normally we always find many problems, like even like people can play the etude, uh, they cannot play very well. So for me, this is clear. They don't practice very well. They don't know how to practice, maybe. <laughs> so it's important to practice better because you will play the piece better. <laughs> this is clear. Yeah. But yeah, of course, I mean, it's not easy because when, when, you, when you have a habit, uh, like you always practice in one way, even if you understand, it's difficult to change. So. We, we have we need little effort because if we want to change something will be not easy because you know when, when you are used to play one way or to practice one way even if you want to change or you somebody tell you or you understand it's not so easy because you already get the the habit yeah but I think it's not so I mean to change your habits is not so difficult I mean at the first time will be more difficult. Maybe for a few days you cannot do, but after after some time you will get, and then you will feel so easy. It's just we have to have a few days or a few weeks to be patient. Okay, I think for the moment, any anything else uh, or anybody want to say something before before we finish. I think this is a great opportunity for <clears throat> questions and answers, um, of course, because it's that time of the, the evening or the, or the afternoon, um, as you are, Louis, uh, at the moment. So, yeah, um, uh, let's uh, open it up to those of you who have questions um, about the music that we've heard today, about the issues that have been brought to light. Um, whether you want to speak directly 
um, and contribute with your with your cameras on and and speak to speak to the group or if you indeed want to talk through the chat both are fine um, but yeah I think this is the time if you have questions for Mr. Louis or uh, Yana or even Natasha about what they've done what they've performed um, or in general here we have one straight away from Ignis is this, is this right um, can you please give us some advice for memorizing these two pieces, should we memorize every note or sometimes is it okay just to depend on muscle memory? Thank you. Well, mem memory has so many things for memorize. <laughs> we can memorize the notes. We can memorize the fingers. We can memorize our hand position and we can memorize the movements, but everything, I think. Sometimes people can memorize the notes very well, but then they cannot play really because they don't memorize really the position or the fingering. So, of course, everything, everything we need. So, yeah, easy. I mean, we have uh, like, oh, how to memorize these notes? Because this is like, it's not too complicated. I should say, if you don't memorize in one day, you will do in two days. Well, there are many ideas you can use. For example, why after this chord? Well, this is the D minor from the beginning. What is this? This is G minor. Okay, you can remember from D to G, for example, yeah. And then, well, here, maybe your fingering is easy, but like we see in Chopin, you know, very important to memorize your fingering and your position and, okay, like, like counting, like five, four, four, three, four, three, five, uh, I don't know. Uh, of course, this is why we need time, we cannot, memorize all these things in one day or in one week, but I think in one month. Any piece, if we practice well from the beginning and we memorize, should be, you could play in one month, I think. Uh, what happened? Many people after one month cannot play the piece. I think it's because probably they didn't practice as well as they could do. Ignis, I hope that answers uh, your, your question. Um, still time for, for a couple more. Um, while we're waiting for people to pluck up their courage and ask some questions, um, let's be aware as well that a lot of the techniques that Lou has, uh, has talked about, they're very much connected. You're, you're talking about Chopin and uh, Bach. These things are very relevant. We've talked about finger movements and we've talked about position on the keyboard these things are very very much connected because no of course, course. i mean everything yeah. is the same and then okay <laughs> as, as you say with the rhythm like we speak about spanish music <laughs> we we can find uh, everything uh, and then no because the way to practice also you know the way to practice our fingers for play any music even bach or anything i mean we need to practice our hand, our arm, our fingers better. But I mean, yeah, they, they can say like it depends on your style. If you play romantic or if you play uh, Bartok or if you play, I don't know, Bach. I mean, uh, can the technically can can be different? But yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is something like it's same for everything. I mean, we, we have to practice our fingers well from the beginning. So if, if you practice, you will be able then to play anything. You have to add or, you know, but even, okay, even romantic pieces. Uh, well, this is an idea we don't have much time now, but 
I always suggest you, you could practice anything. You could, you could practice with your hand down like this. You know? So, of course, we are not going to play like this, but this is very good for understand how to use our fingers, you know. Well, maybe at the end you will play like this, but for learning the piece, still, <laughs> you don't have to do much. <laughs> That's great. That's wonderful. Um, we'll allow a little bit more time for others who have questions. Uh, please do um, be brave and, and uh, pop your, your thoughts or your, your questions in, in the chat box, or indeed just open up your microphone and have a whisper with your question. There, there is a little bit more time before we go on. While we're waiting, I just want to, uh, again, once again, thank ooh, my, my my camera's going off. Um, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Oh dear, what's going on? Uh, oh, uh, Magella Staccato, uh, Staccato Magazine, for their support with these events. Uh, thank you so much for your support. And for those who have sponsored and donated to enable this very event to happen today. So thank you very much for those people who have been able to financially back um, this this event uh, from the, the Pando Piano Corner today. And thank you also to Jana and to Natasha for performing wonderful, wonderful music and being part of it. While we're waiting for these questions, I just want to remind everybody that this is the time to sign up if you haven't done so. This is the anniversary of Pando music. Yeah, So we right now have a number of offers on, um, including free trial classes of up to 30 minutes. Um, so you can find out about this on the website directly or through the Instagram that we have, um, or Facebook, indeed we've, we've got going on there. And also right now we have 50% off of piano tuition, a very special deal. I wish that I could be able to be involved in this when I was a little bit younger. 50% off piano tuition at uh, uh, Panda Piano Courses. So please do make use of this wonderful time, this anniversary. You're celebrating the first, the first year of uh, Panda music. Um, as uh, we have in the chat, super sale, 50% off masterclasses, piano lessons, and free trial classes. It's all right here fingertips and you don't need to leave your house everything you want as a piano student or indeed want you want to further your your education as most of us do even in advanced years we all need to learn this is the ideal place and space to do that you not only share with uh, with with experts and respond and absolutely learn uh, learn from the very best um, uh, indeed, uh, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Eddie. Find out the coupon code through our social media. Follow us uh, through the Panda Piano Course, whether that is on Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we're now on um, YouTube as well, and there is a direct email address. If you have questions, particularly, I saw somebody today who had questions about um, finding the pieces of music. That is the place to go if you have further questions or indeed have suggestions about what you would like to see in the future. Because this, of course, is an organic experience. So if, if you've enjoyed what you've seen today and you want more, absolutely, this is the place to tell us. Um, or if you would like to see something a little bit different, you, you want uh, Oh, we've got some questions coming right in from... Andy, Andy Pranata Surbakti. My name is Andy. I want to ask, what train, what training can I do to help my pink finger to get stronger? This is a classic piano, 
Not classic piano problem. We've all had that. Or maybe what pieces would you re recommend to make the pinky, the pinky a little bit stronger? You mean this is the fifth? fifth yeah, finger. the fifth finger. Yeah, the fifth finger. Well, I think it's not uh, okay. This is why we 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 make always more difficult. I mean, okay, the fifth finger can have a problem, but no, we don't have to think like this. Because uh, the fourth finger also have a problem. The first finger have a problem also. And sometimes the two, and the, I mean, okay. So it should be more easy. Don't, don't, don't make a problem. Don't make a big problem. So our finger, well, we just have to, uh, to as I say, because if, if, you, if you make a problem, you, you will try to do too much. No, we don't need to do too much. We, we must find the easy way how to move our finger. And this is all. <laughs> it's not so, so, I mean, we just, uh, well, for example, one thing is, okay, when we move one finger, the other fingers want to move. Yeah, this is very important. This is why sometimes our fingers don't get the right the right movement. Because if I move one finger and for move this finger, I move another finger, of course, this finger never will find their way because somebody always helping him. So every finger we can we have to practice without moving the other fingers. This is so simple. So we must to move this finger without moving anything. Only our finger from here. Yeah, okay. From here. Not using this, not using this. Yeah, of our position, for example, uh, this finger. Sometimes we 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 think we should move our hand like this, and no, no, this is wrong. I mean, this finger will be easy to move if our hand is just like this. This is more natural. Like this is more difficult, more difficult to move. So, yeah, I, I know, but this is also an example how we we make more problems from should shouldn't be so so complicated. That's great. Yeah. Um, uh, so the 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 the, uh, the overall arching thing is just persevere, persevere with with things and. Um, just to echo uh, what Louis has said, he said um, about practicing. Don't try to move mountains. Practice the small, the small bits, because ultimately the small bits make the mountain. So a little bit, little bit every day. Yeah. Don't, don't try and practice so much. Um, you're absolutely welcome, Andy. That's yeah. that's wonderful. Uh, Louis, if you don't mind me asking, could you do us a wonderful, wonderful favor? Could you play us out? With some music, would that be would that be okay? Just to to see our friends off and and uh, and wish them oh, okay. a, a nice uh, not, a nice evening. Not the Chopin, because I should practice the Chopin before. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Okay, I can play Bach. You, not the from the English suite, maybe. Yeah, okay. it's okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, but wait, uh, wait a moment. Uh, maybe you don't see. Can you see? Thank you. 
Thank you, Louis. Louis Avendano. Yeah, I think it's, Thank it's you so time much. to go. We have to finish now. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody um, who has participated, inclu including Louis. Um, this has really been a very special day today. Um, and thank you to uh, people who have attended, who are from the various corners of the globe, including our participants, uh, Yana and Nati N uh, Natasha, both from the Philippines and Indonesia. Thank you so much for being active and involved in this. Uh, thank you very, very much.